If you want to learn how to sculpt in Nomad Sculpt, in this video, I'm going to teach you how I sculpted this jacket on this investigator. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the body and I'm going to go into the scene menu and make a clone so that I have two of that shape. I'm going to open the gizmo tool and scale the whole thing up using this outer bend just a little bit. Let's paint it a different color so that we can differentiate it. And now I'm going to use the trim tool to chop away some of the face and the legs so that I can get just the part where I want the jacket to be. And I want the jacket to be open in the front, so I'm going to click solo so that I only see the jacket. And looking from the top, I'm going to chop into the center a little bit to open up the jacket. Now looking from the front, we can turn solo back off, and this is going to be the start of our jacket. I'm going to use the drag tool to flare it out a little bit, and I'll also flare it out in the back. I might want it to close in a little bit in the center, so I'll drag it in there. And now I'm going to need to sculpt this part right here on the jacket. I'm going to take the tube tool with the path option and I'm just going to lay something out and click the green dot to get it to show up. I'm going to drag this point out to increase the radius a little bit. And then I'm going to turn on profile and I'm going to change this into a skinny rectangle so that I can get that thin shape. I'm going to spend just a little bit of time moving the points around to try to get this to go all the way around the collar. And when I get to the back, I'm going to turn on the mirror so that I can make the two parts meet up. I'm going to click radius at the top until three dots show. That way I can change the radius at every point and I'm going to play with the radius until I get this kind of a shape right here. To get this sharp cut, I'm going to Tap the dot to turn it black and it's going to make it a sharp turn instead of a radial turn. And then I can make this one a little bit wider. Now that that's mostly in the right place, I'm going to click twist at the top until three dots show. That way I can start moving the twist radius at each point to make it the appropriate bend. I'm paying attention to the edges and making sure that there's no air gaps and that everything touches the shape that I'm going to voxel merge it into. And then I will multi-select the coat and the collar. I'm going to go into the voxel menu and voxel remesh both of these shapes together. I can make the color match and I forgot to add this in a mirror symmetry. What I'm going to do is go into the symmetry panel and force symmetry from right to left. And now I'm going to clean up this edge by just running over it with the smooth tool. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. I'm going to be doing a lot more like this. So if you want to follow for more Nomad Sculpt tutorials, I'd appreciate that. And you can also check out the Patreon in the link below.